In this video, we show the OpenVM Remote Signature module. We will start with a set of documents to which we will add the Metadata Group Remote Signature. We insert the email of who should sign the file. They will receive a notification by mail. We select the location of the signature within the document and the language will correspond to the language in which they use OpenVM. We can use a scheduler to send signature notifications every 5 or 10 minutes. We may also choose to send notifications immediately. Once the email is sent, we can check how the user receives the corresponding email. The text of the notification message is configurable. If the user clicks on the link, the OpenVM Remote Signature module will open. The user will be able to preview the file and in the upper right corner, they will be able to insert their signature. By clicking on the Sign button, the OpenVM Remote Signature module confirms that the user's signature's data has been saved correctly and displays the updated version of the document. In OpenVM, we can verify that the remote signature metadata group of the file is complete. It shows the date when the notification was sent, when it was signed, and even the device IP from which the signature was applied. In the History tab, we verify that OpenVM keeps complete traceability over the entire life cycle of the file. Now, we will show the behavior of the remote signature module from the mobile interface. We select a document, we assign the remote signature metadata group and cover the necessary fields. The signing user receives a notification by email which contains the link to the pending signature file. This is a display of the OpenVM Remote Signature Module from a mobile device, usually a smartphone or tablet. The user previews the file. If they want to sign, they click on the Sign button and the module will display the signature space, so the user inserts in their handwritten signature. If we can see, the module confirms the rubric's insertion and shows the document's updated version with the signature inserted. If we go back to the DMS and refresh the view, we can check how OpenVM records all the data related to the remote signature again. In this video, we show the standard configuration. However, the OpenVM remote signature module can be complemented with other options, such as the insertion of an authentication pin or signature with an electronic certificate from the server.